Here at Spruce Avenue, I'm an assistant principal, and for the United Way Tools for School program, I'm one of the coordinators who works with the United Way Center in, in order to make sure that our backpacks get ordered and then get to the schools for September. Tools for School is, is part of the culture. We just rely on it. We know that it's going to be there and we're ready for it. Because you never know who's going to walk through your door and need your services. We all get together and we end up coming down to the Inkide Center. So you have to sort of see this to believe it because you've got a bunch of big-headed general managers who think they know everything and everybody wants to be the boss and then we all have to work together as a team. It took us a while to sort of check our egos and sort of figure out who was going to do what and who got the pencils, who got the erasers, who got the rulers, who got the hold the bag at the end, who got the stack. But the laughing that came out of it and the excitement and just, you know, we felt so good. Like we were just having fun and it was probably of all the team building exercises I've ever done, this was the one. This is the one where you, you knew you were doing something good. It was Staples, it was the United Way, it was Tools for School. It was, it was just like one of those days you'll never forget. If a child comes in and starts the year without the materials, is behind the rest of his classmates, is the rest of his peers in terms of having the materials to work, it adds one more challenge to the school day. And often these kids who are, are in vulnerable situations, there's so many challenges to them getting to school, being focused in school, to putting value on, on what they're doing for their education. It takes away one more thing that these kids um, have to fight in order to get an education and do well in the future. Parents are always quite surprised, particularly parents that are new to our school, when they ask um, what are the costs of the school supplies because they're kind of tight, it's the September and there's not a lot of money in the house, and they say, oh no, no, we've got these here, you can just pick a backpack, pick a color you like and you're set to go. And parents are often surprised and, and a little bit taken aback that we're able to do that for them. When we provide our, our backpacks from Tools for School to our kids, um, we try and do it in the most respectful way possible so they're not singled out. In a school like mine, it's Bruce Avenue, and it's not an issue at all. Um, kids are very open about it, they're not embarrassed. In another school where they, a child might be singled out for receiving uh, the free materials, we do it in a way that respects the privacy of the family and the kids. I grew up in a family of seven kids with a uh, single parent, and I was a kid who received uh, school supplies through an organization very similar to this here. What if I get there and I'm the only kid that doesn't have school supplies? That's heart-wrenching for a child. And to give that back is just amazing. It's, just, it's just such a wonderful feeling. A huge thank you would go out to the people who, who donate, the United Way who has organized this program, all the sponsors, um, the people that when they're buying their kids their, their school supplies in September think about another child and fill a backpack for us. I don't know how we would supply our kids with what they need. So if I had the opportunity to say something to all those people who have donated, who have come into my store, brought their money, brought their donations, I would like to have them in the room surrounded by the school supplies that they brought in and say, this is you. Because it's one thing for us to ask you for your donations and for to take your donations, but unless they give it and they give it willingly and they give it out of the goodness of their heart, um, it doesn't happen. So thank you on behalf of the kids. Thank you on behalf of everyone because we can't do it without you, so thank you.